All right, I picked up a set of this innovative JK Products rear seat recliner kit. Uh, this is made in the USA, and it comes with four of the large spacers for the front, and they're just uh, like a hard plastic, and three of the small spacers for the rear of the back seat, and it comes with new longer bolts. And here's the instructions. I'm going to try and get this focused. And there's the back. So the instructions basically explain to loosen the back bolts first. But don't remove the back bolts, just, you know, loosen them up real good and then to remove the front bolts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and loosen up the back bolts and we'll be right back. Here's a comparison of the old bolt next to the new one. As you can see the new ones are longer so make sure you use the new bolts. Alright, so what I'm doing is I'm using a breaker bar to get these front bolts out. Uh, they're pretty long. They're in there and uh, my uh, electronic ratchet is is just not strong enough to get them out. And I can't get an impact in here because there's just not enough room. So unfortunately I'm uh, just going to have to do it by hand. But I just wanted to take a quick shot of this just to let you guys know you're going to need uh, you know a breaker bar or something. These uh, front bolts are pretty snug. They there you know it takes some force to get them out so not too bad but um, I would use a breaker bar on them and uh, once you you know get the uh, couple turns on it just keep going um, it's in there it's snug just got to keep at it and we'll get them out all right so I have the front bolts out and the spacer in. so as you can see it just the spacer just goes under the seat bracket in between the floor and the bracket and then the new bolt will just go like so all right I got that bolt out the impact made quick made quick work of it so uh, it's an 18 millimeter and I use the impact with an extension and it zipped it right out and what I did was to help hold this up, I just took the seat belt, I wrapped it around the headrest, and it kind of helps hold it up. So we have everything buttoned up. And there's a pic of the passenger side front. There's another pic. Again, it's the passenger side front of the seat. Here's a shot of the passenger side. This is the middle of the seat. And there's the other one. And this is the passenger side front. And that's the passenger side middle. And here's the back three. the third one get a light on it the new bolts that come with the kit go in the front four holes for the bolts in the middle of the seat and the bolts at the rear of the seat you just reuse the factory bolts And I'll try and give you a shot here so you can kind of gauge uh, how far back it's tilted. And it does recline it back. And here's the shot from this side. And I'll try and back out here and give you a shot of the entire thing. So what do I think overall? It does recline it back. 
shot of that. These things are uh, about $60 on, online. They're made from Delrin. So uh, they're a really hard plastic. I think for the money, I would have liked them to be, uh, you know, machined out of aluminum. But Delrin's a, a really hard plastic, so it should hold up. Overall, I'm happy with it. I probably do it again um, you know again it does find seat back as you can see there all right so I think that pretty much wraps up this video I guess uh, we'll see if my son continues to complain about the uh, back seat being uncomfortable or not uh, time will tell and uh, if it's uh, you know better or worse or otherwise I'll uh, you know, add a comment to the video or, or update it.